So this is just a shorty follow-up to my video from last Wednesday where I anodized the titanium pens, the, the Magon RS1. It came out very, very nicely, and I really, really like it. But I did the, I tried to get a gold bronze thing going uh, with the M200, but you can see that it's, it's nicely gold at the section. Um, but overall, the pen is rather dark. When it's under these lights, it seems to be very nice, but it's very, very dark. So I thought I'm going to try to lighten it up. So I'm going to re-anodize this. And as I said before in my previous video, um, I can raise the voltage to change the color, but I can't lower the voltage to change the colors. This was at about 9 volts here, and this was at about 18 volts, two batteries. I'm going to give it a full 90 volts and see whether I can uh, get some of this very, very light purple-pink into blue on the barrel and the cap, but not on the section. So I'm going to take the section off and set it aside, and I'm going to work on the barrel first. I don't want to take this apart again, so I'm going to try to do it with the stainless steel and chrome attached and the cap liner attached to see how it reacts. So as before, I've got the anode attached to a fork that sits in the water, which has baking soda in it. And then I have my barrel attached to some titanium wire, which is attached to a alligator clip, which is then attached to the positive terminal on the end of the battery. So 90 volts positive to the titanium wire, negative to the stainless steel, and then we'll give it a try. So this is a plastic sandwich size uh, tub filled three quarters with water, and I put about a tablespoon of baking soda in. This is going to be 90 volts, so it's going to go straight up to the blue-green uh, end of that chart that I'll show right here, and I'm going to try to get some graduation to it so that it goes blue towards the bottom of the barrel. There we go. And it actually went gold at the end. I like that. That was two seconds. And I got this nice blue at the one end and this pink at the other end. So let's try it with the cap. So again, I'm going to try to just dunk it quickly and see what happens. Well, it went upside down, didn't it? We'll try just to place it in the water. So that was about one second on this end and a couple seconds on the cap end. So let's put it back together again. That's not too bad. <laughs> I think it's a real improvement. I want to look at the kind of effect I got around the stainless steel. It went uh, pinkish gold, and then this blue, blue on the back. Then it went pink down here, and sort of light blue in the center. Let's see what it looks like all together. Wow. I'd say that was a big success. Thanks for watching. I made this.